wear sweats on every time we travel, so I don't know why everybody needs to deal with that. Because we know you like don't like them. them. You don't like them. It's uh, something I learned a long time ago from the guys at Coach Center. I respect the game. You know, everybody used to do it. There's a lot of people turning away from themselves. But you guys now play. we're different. Everybody yeah. wants to go to sweats. But you guys played really well with you wearing yeah, sweats. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the rumor is there might have been another reason why you're wearing the sweats tonight. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Golf well, we golf. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we went to Spokane, Coach Kirk, Coach Mullen, Coach Richardson, and we bet on different stuff. But before, Jason and I set the game up like a month before, and then just the night before, like, okay, tomorrow's golf is who gets to host the game. And I'd never beat him before, and so it's the only time I've beat him before. at the Indian Canyon. I showed him the He showed him the game. So the next day we played uh, over there too, and he was like, you would wear sweats if we went out with your <laughs> <laughs> I got what I wanted. I won the home game. And a great game, by the way. Oh, um, awesome. Um, it's kind of, there's probably not a lot. Of, you look at it and go, yeah. and it's pretty clean from no. start to finish. No, it's very uh, uh, rebounding. was like night day, really horrendous. And you know, it's been an issue, and it was emphasized, and I thought they did a great job. Too many second shots. We gave up some in the second quarter, or second half. But, you know, thought we did a good job rebounding. We guarded, you know, full game and didn't lose our focus. Um, and I thought we moved the ball pretty good. There were some times where you know we made some great cuts and we didn't stand around. We didn't allow them to double and trap us, which they like to do. And we just keep moving so that didn't happen. Um, you know, I think Tice set the tone with cutting and getting easy baskets and uh, you know he was phenomenal all around garden rebounding uh moving it cutting hitting an open shot he played outstanding how good is tice when he's attacking the basket and how much does that kind of open up his whole game exactly and i was trying to get him all to do you know devin's a three shooter you know zoom hit the three he's a peak pack but you know all our guys can shoot the ball but they all want to settle for that first Make a move, get something easy. That's only gonna make it easier for you out here. Check in, go out. Can't start out. Hope we get 25 footers and then you know, class. Uh, that was good to see. You know, tells me they're listening. Josiah play his best game of the year for you, you think? Yeah, uh, we went back to Josiah. You know, early in the season he played really well. The last couple coming off the bench, I don't. He just hasn't. Uh, I don't know if it's gotten the flow of the game or not. Ready to go because he's not starting. Um, I talked to X today. You know, X gives us a lot. He, he doesn't really. I think he plays the same either way. Um, but I think I said I'm gonna try JoJo because you know, the first three games when he did start when we were down, guys, he played really well. And I thought he did that tonight. He got out in the, in the lane, and got a couple steals, and um, yeah, made some great plays. I know it's Tice would rather play Robin to Zoom to Batman. I mean, that's kind of his personality. But to try and mesh 1A and 1B, like tonight, it's really well blended. Mm -hmm. But when you got when when it's a struggle, what what happens there usually? When it's a struggle and not to you like when Ty, for Tice to kind of find his role behind Zoom. Oh, because a lot of times we stand and you see Tice, you know, make a concerted effort to get to the basket, even you know without the ball, and we hit him and he got some layers. And then a couple of times he even got the ball and took it himself, you know. And Attacked, and I think that was that was a big thing, you know, not to be, um, you know, be a surf, go at them. And I think some of our bigs kind of faded away on some things when they had the bigs down there in trouble. And, you know, but Tice, I was like, oh, Tice went at them, you know. So um, just like that, you need to play that way. Is, guys is that hard for him sometimes, though? To for just Tice? I mean, he's a senior, and sometimes you still have to remind him to sort of be assertive because he can be that effective when he is. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, everybody knows Tyson shoot it. So, you know, just don't be in the comfort zone like Devin. You know, trying to get, that was, at the end of the game, Devin cut, and that was huge for us. Like, Devin, that's what we've been talking about, you know. All the game, we're like, watch Tyson, look at Tyson, look at Tyson. We kept, Tyson, look at Tyson's plan, right? And maybe he was watching on him. That's what I was thinking, but that's what we need. A bunch of them, because Zoom's going to draw attention as we kept trying on the first half. He's doing his deal, he's drawing attention. If you guys would cut to the basket, uh, you're going to get layups. You're going to yeah, get easy right. baskets. We're going to get easy baskets. Uh, so, uh, yeah, any more Thanks, Tim. In the future? Um, yeah.